I love my Apollo gramophone, but quite often there is unwanted noise or blasting as it is sometimes called. Can I get rid of the distortion? This is probably caused by dried out gaskets in the sound box. These are rubber rings which go above and below the diaphragm and can go rock solid. Rebuilding the sound box will have to wait for another day, but when I do, I will have to scrape out the gaskets and replace them like I did with this other sound box. I thought though that I would try another sound box on it, but which one? Now, I have lots of other sound boxes, these are just a few of them. Curiously though, virtually none of them fit. The Apollo doesn't have a standard HMV or Victor fitting. So this exhibition sound box doesn't fit. Neither does this one with the standard 3 quarter inch fitting. This Thorin Sonata sound box from about 1930 almost fits. It is a little loose though. There is already a plastic ceiling ring which has been added for the original sound box. Adding a little bit of electrician's tape on top of that should be sufficient. Right, that's on now. Now another problem is that it struggles to get to the end of records. There still seems to be a lot of power left in the spring so I think it is too much friction on the record. It is helped by cleaning the record, but that doesn't always cure it. I did wonder if the Sonata might help with this, but it is basically the same weight as the original one. I had previously checked the tracking weight of the original sound box. The Sonata looks like it will track slightly lighter, although this may be due to a slightly different angle of the sound box on the tone arm. You may think this Sonata looks familiar, that may be because it is also the sound box copied on most of the fake gramophones, like this one. The fake sound boxes are usually, though not always marked, his master's voice. OK, so does the Apollo play with the Sonata? Let's try Dancing on the Ceiling. This is an electrically recorded record from around 1930, which is a similar time to the Sonata sound box and about 20 years after the gramophone itself. That sounds pretty good. Still going strong. I'll post the whole record separately in another video. Anyway, what did you think? Let me know in the comments and how about leaving a like? That seemed pretty good. Didn't stop and no blasting noise. If you enjoyed that video, then how about this one, where I rebuild a gramophone sound box. Thanks, and see you in the next one.